Okay, so welcome everyone to our live stream to our Clearing Your City region, which we're talking about today. And I'm really like grateful and amazed. And I think that's one of the huge advantages that's come from this whole, um, all the nonsense that's going on. I think people really are starting to wake up and realizing that a lot has to get done. And one of the things that we're about, let me just explain what this, what this is in simple terms. So look, there's many people doing many different things to help um, shift our city's energy to, to do stuff. One of the things I've spent most of my time um, over the last number of years is studying shamanic secrets. Since I was like 18, I've been absolutely driven and passionate by learning that. Like as a kid, I was into magic. William himself was a magician at one stage. So one of the things I learned very early on was what it says in the um, Holy Bible about Ephesians. So our battle is not against flesh and blood, but or humans or governments, but spirit realms, principalities and powers. And when I first heard this years and years ago, I kind of believed it and was skeptical in a way too, until I started directly firsthand experiencing dark presences, um, visiting my room, having things like that, um, running a, a work. And that got me like, wow, okay, this is actually real. And then seeing it on people and things like that and having to work with my um, ex-wife, um, Grace, who some of you know to help her clear stuff off it. So bit by bit, I learned about all this. And then as time went on, I learned about it in cities and to study about the Great Awakenings and things like that. So that's been pretty much my life journey for years and trying every little bit and pieces and always been one to try things. And hence why when I went to Virginia in 2014 and met Raymond Grace, that was like a whole new level for me because it was amazing to actually meet someone who was very much on this path too and really said the kind of stuff I did. A shaman in, really in the mountains of Virginia, I was, I was seeing extraordinary magic and miracles being done there, um, seeing water that was you know, chlorinated, turning into pure water, teaching me how to do that using energy, the power of the mind, the power of spirit. And one of the things that Raymond actually said, and look, I don't have time to go into all the incredible things that were happening, like seeing people get healed and things happening in cities. Raymond's had incredible success at actually um, in cities and regions, lowering crime and catching serial killers and dispossessing people of spirits and that. So bit by bit, his projects have extended the city. So I started studying it and have taken it to my own level. And one of the things we've been doing throughout this whole lockdown since last year is at time to time really working on on our city where we live. We live in the city of Perth, Western Australia. And I can honestly tell you the number of times this, and, and what, as Raymond says, he goes, I don't know if it's gonna make any difference at all, but we may as well have a, have a, have a go and see if we can. He said, we don't lose anything. And if we can make a difference and make the world a better place, it was worth the effort. And that's how I see this. And I would probably make the same statement. I mean, we could do this whole work tonight, then tomorrow, who knows what could happen. But I will say this, I have been astonished, as has William, at what we've seen when we've actually put the effort in and done the work. And unfortunately, we've sometimes, you know, slackened off. And I remember last year, especially with um, Perth, we were very busy doing this. And I don't know if many of you remembered the extraordinary good run that Perth WA had compared to all the other states. And I can tell you, we were busy. We were uh, doing this work. We were tuning in. We were reading energies of, of, of our city. We're reading what was going on with our premier and shifting the energy. And then around November last year, I had an injury, a really bad injury to my foot. And for about three months, I just lost interest in anything else. And when the lockdown happened in February this year, I was like, oh gosh, you know, and it was pretty full on. And I remember that particular second day, William and I got together and, you know, and like I said, we can't prove any of this. We can just share honestly what happened. We checked and sure enough, WA had been infested by demons in the last couple of months. And we went ahead and cleared them all out, took us quite a while, as best as we could. And about an hour later, Mark McGowan got up and was a completely different man, apologized for the lockdown and started lifting restrictions almost immediately. Was it a coincidence? Quite possibly. Um, but we've seen too many of those things happen that we think, we think at least what we're doing is making some difference. We're, enough that encourages us to continue um, I don't know if any of you have heard of the I Ching, but we have done um, many I Ching readings which have confirmed over and over again and oracles that what we're doing is on track and can help. And interestingly, the last two lockdowns we had, 
I will say this, I, I had had my own education in that, as did William, because we both got a message to back off and leave it for a bit and allow some things to happen in our state because we were told people have to become more aware and wake up and, if, and just let things run a bit, which we did. And interestingly, this is, of course, what's happened. Again, can I prove any of this? No, I can't. All I can tell you is what's happened. And well, let's just say from all my studies of all kinds of intercession, prayer, spiritual warfare, energy work over centuries, including the Great Awakening in America, so many accounts of people willing to do this kind of work and seeing extraordinary changes. One of the great um, leaders of the Great Awakening in America, Charles um, Grandison Finney, he talks about a number of times where he would go into cities and do this kind of work. And then within days, people would just be waking up and not knowing why, but they just started to cry and wanted to sort their life out. Judges and politicians started cleaning up their act. And we've seen things like that over the years. So do I believe it's possible to do? Well, in a way, our life depends upon it right now. And as I see it, we've got nothing to lose and absolutely everything to gain because what's going on right now is as much a spiritual warfare attack as you'll just about ever see in your life. And when you're under attack, sitting there passively doing nothing is the last thing you do. You've got to fight back and you've got to resist it. And it says in the Holy Bible that resist the devil and he will flee from you. So the satanic energy, the dark energy, and it will go. So how do we do that? We do that by shifting the energy and things like that. So that's really what we're doing today. So I'm going to be going through Perth, West Australia, where I live right now. And normally William and I would just jump on and do this ourselves with no one doing it. But I just thought tonight that I'd get William up and we would do it together. And um, so you guys can see and share. And if those of you would love to be part of this whole thing and create and start doing the same in your city, because we're not going to do it for Sydney, we're not going to do it for Melbourne, we're not going to do it for any other city. We believe in just focusing on our own city and letting the people of their cities decide whether or not they're serious about, you know, doing the work. So that's how we see this. So, and, we, and we've created resources and videos for people to follow and do this kind of stuff and you go along with it. So everything is energy and energy can be transformed. Um, so, yeah, William, I'll just get you to help me in some of this stuff, obviously, and let's go. So first of all, I use my bobber when I do this, and William doesn't. So Raymond uses bobbers or pendulums, and I more just use it, not because I need it, but it gives me a tool or shamanic guide. Raymond loves using his bobber, his bobber and I tend to do that as well. So... Um, Main thing is to make sure as a group tonight, we're all balanced and in a clear state of calmness and that our polarity is lined with the universal energy field or magnetic field frequency and we're balanced. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do this and William, just make sure you got your mic off and I'll probably get you to comment on different things. So we just tune in and just allow the energy just to shift. Okay, that's overall, there's a little bit of activity going on in the frequency and minds of people in this group, which you'd expect, but it seems to have settled now. So if you get something different, William, just always, you know, jump in. So can you hear me okay, William? Just to be clear. Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, great. So now what we do is we create protection, and I've learned this from pretty much my own study from working with shamans and what's interesting is all the shamans well, I feel, well i feel something happening yeah oh no there's definitely energy moving isn't it yeah but there's also there are interferences out around oh no doubt about it so that's why i feel we've definitely got to create the um frequency protection right now well because well well the, because it's not just you and me but a bigger group there's actually a lot of interferences at the moment okay so what do you feel to do well, I thought, yeah, do the protection, then call in the masters and then yep. deal with it. Great. Yeah, we've got our structure, which we follow. So we'll do that. So yeah. let's just, um, what we do is we, we, we use what's called things that we've learned from Arcturians. For those of you who've heard of them from um, 
what we learned with Raymond and just what we've learned with various shamans who all seem to be universal pattern, which we find works well. So how we do this is let's just start to breathe in through the nose for four. And we hold for three. And we breathe out through the mouth for four, six. So we breathe in for four through the nose. Hold for three and out for six through the mouth. Now what we're going to do, and this is something I learned from numerous different shamans and people I work with, we're going to first um, project a golden vortex spinning clockwise. So we just get a sense of it just going at the speed of light, in fact, twice as fast, and spinning like crazy right around the city of Perth. That's what we're doing it right now. Like I said, we're working on Perth. You can take this video and you can take this, and tonight help work, be with, work with us on Perth, but then you can take this, follow the videos, and you can do this on your own city. At the moment, we've been led to do this virtually daily because we see the times are quite great and definitely require this. And the more I'm doing it, I can feel the energy increasing. Can you feel it, William? I can, actually. Yes. And now we just project a white crystalline pyramid, mentally project it, coming right over the city of Perth. And after the dimensions of the Pyramid of Giza or the Great Pyramid, which is made of sacred geometry, and remember we're all doing this by intention, they've proven in science, in David Wilcox's scientific projects, that um, mental projection gets exactly the same results as physically doing it. And they found that a, a pyramid made with, after the dimensions of the Great Pyramid, including su studies in science and projects done in Russia, actually activate, magnify, and enhance energy and can even heal back, so they can heal and transform fruit, vegetables, life, everything. So I'm just imagining it right over the city of Perth, the whole city covered, and imagining over each and every one in this group as well. That's better, William, can you feel that? Yeah, it's getting better now. Yeah, it's improving now, it's increasing. Okay, so now what we do is we always call in the five archangels. There's four main ones and there's Metatron, who works with the Order of Enoch. So we call in the ones who work with the Order of Christ and those who work with the Order of Enoch. And keep in mind, this is how we do it and how we work with, and then any others we feel led to bring in. So I'm just, I just ask and, and give thanks and, give, and send love to Archangels Uriel, Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Metatron. Thank them most profusely from my heart for their service and just ask them to be here. And I just place them right now at the north, the south, the east, and the west. And we call in the power of Yeshua, Christ, the Holy Spirit. Is there anyone, William, you feel to be present? And Raymond's guides as well, I'll mention. Well, wisdom, I sense. Wisdom, okay, yep. A feminine energy, wisdom, yep. Yes. Ah, that's better. It's really magnifying now. Can you feel it? It is. Okay. Now, this is what we always do because sometimes deceptive spirits creep in and sneak their little way in. So we just command only those aligned with the word of God, with the higher Christ consciousness and with the order of Enoch, order of Melchizedek to come. And that any false spirits that are not aligned, the order of Melchizedek, the order of Enoch, the office of the Christ leave now. Ooh. Something's leading. Could you feel that? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't usually happen these days, but maybe it's because we're doing it in a bigger group. Mm. Okay. 
So how we work is that when we work within the authority, we create the authority structure, the spirits, like I said, we can't stop what people do in their own lives with demons or tampering with um, these kind of energies, but we can keep them out of what we're doing. Okay. So now let's clear the city of Perth. So we use this bogus scale. So how this works, and this is what Raymond uses, and like I said, it's just an arbitrary scale, but it's commonly used by dowsers across the earth. So what Raymond's things have done and what we've been working by, it's a guide, is that a city which is less than 20,000 is not a healthy city or it's got stuff going on. Um, if it's between five and 20,000, there's definitely going to be lots of mass consciousness um, interference in the energy, fear, freaking out, negative emotional energetic patterns. Um, if it's basically zero to 5,000, it's possessed. I remember when we checked Melbourne in one of their lockdowns, it was zero, like literally was zero. My guess is that, William, if we tuned into Melbourne and Sydney right now, they'd be as close to zero as you can get. Is that what you sense? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so Melbourne, I'm sent, I'm getting it's less than 500. Yeah, I'm getting less than 500 for Melbourne. Zero. Yep. No, over a zero. Yep, 100. More, 200, 300. Yeah, about 300 for Melbourne. Sydney, I'm getting about zero, 100, 200. Yeah, I'm getting about 200 for Sydney. So very low for those two places. So now, and now like now in terms of perth let's just let's just do your re our readings will you yeah and if anyone's got a pendulum and only if you've done this before feel free to measure as well but only if you've got a pendulum and you're familiar with what we're doing very familiar mm. so what do you get for perth william i do get over twenty thousand. still do you me too yep well, we've been working blooming hard on it, so I hope so. Okay, so over 25,000. No. So it's dropped down a little bit. Is it between 20 and 25? I'm getting a yes. Okay. Is it between 20 and 22? No, 23. I'm getting I get it to around 24. Yeah, I'm getting 23,000. Okay. Now, how yeah. do we measure it? There's various ways of a pendulum. Keep in mind, I have been practicing this for years and years and years and years. And I do this like constantly day in day out so we we we, yeah, we basically just measure it using this scale and usually what i do for verification is i run it by raymond i find and i email him um we, we work pretty closely on stuff when we need to generally i find that raymond and myself and the dowsers are getting pretty similar readings this day so we're getting that 2023 now one thing i do want you to check william there's that boat which came from Fremantle that's been all over the news today where they got all those COVID cases. I want you to tune into the energy of that boat and of those people and see what risks or spirits and see if we can help and dispossess that boat. So what's the energy of that boat? I get it's around 4,000. Yep, I was getting under 5,000. Yeah, it's under 5,000. Yep. But it's definitely not at zero. No, I'm getting around three, 4,000. Okay, so what I, we're gonna I do get... Yeah, Let's I get 4,000. Yeah. So, okay. So what we'll do is we've measured the city of Perth. Let's just, before we go ahead and start the, the, the clearing on everything, let's just clear Let's just clear that boat, shall we? Let's just clear and dispossess any spirits, any dark energies on that boat and clear that out. Mm. Okay, so let's do this. Whew, that's heavy. <laughs> My hand is just about flying off me with the bother. Oh, yeah, this, this bother's going heavy. So if you're tuning in, everyone, some of you who are sensitive to energy will be feeling the energy moving as we're doing this. Some of you may not, and that's okay. It took me a while to feel it too. Okay, that's fine. Let's clear it up a little bit. So dispossessing that boat. And let's just um, activate 
and raise the frequency of the boat and all the people on that boat and who've been on there. And let's activate them to the highest possible frequency of love, of health and wellness. Okay. I'll just measure that boat now. Is it over 20,000? Yeah, I'm getting it's over 20,000 now. Yep. Yeah. Is that what you're getting? Yeah, it's over 20,000 now. I get around 21,000. Not good. Okay. Now, what we do is we always work to clear demonic influence and false spirit guides over our politicians, and we inhale them and we put them with, and we upgrade the spirit guides. This is something I learned from Raymond. It makes an incredible difference. We have seen huge shifts just by this one trick alone. Um, what's very important is that that's why, just as a comment, that's why. I let people live their own lives and do what they want on my own Facebook groups. I don't tolerate any, you know, ill speaking of politicians or leaders that we're working on because it works against what we're doing. So one of the things that the scriptures teach us in other books is to pray for our leaders. Now, how do we do that? We, have, we work as best as we can to clear them out and keep them as clean as we can, because if we can keep them clean, we've noticed they tend to behave better. Now, and if they're, you know, really engaging in evil actions, and I must admit, we went, I will say this, we went to do some work on Daniel Andrews and got a clear no not to do it, um, not ready. And it was up to the people of Victoria to do the work. That was what we were told. So we left it. But we've been working pretty heavily on our own premier in West Australia. So the main five people we work on, just so you know, we work on the premier, which is um, Mark McGowan, on the health minister, which is Roger Cook. The chief health officer, which is Andy Robertson, who is a bit of an aside, just about every time he does, doesn't he, William is covered with demons. So I think I think the running joke between the two of us, we cut is with Andrew Miller and Andy Robertson. I think they have. Uh, I think the two of them have a competition to see who can collect the most <laughs> demons. The most demons, yeah. And Andrew Miller is the head of the medical board, and Andy Robertson's the chief medical officer or health officer. So, yeah, we kind of have this running joke, like, let's see who's got the most today. Um, interestingly, we've been working so much on Mark McGowan, Roger Cook, our health minister, and police commissioner, Chris Dawson. We haven't seen a demon on them for a while. So hopefully that will remain the same. So let's just tune into the bow three first and foremost, William, and just see what we get. Mm. And keep in mind, this is learning to attune your energy, tune in. You can use your bobber, use your pendulum. And that's why we've got videos, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I don't get they got any demons. Do you? No, I didn't sense demons around. No. Okay, let's sense the, let's check now Andy Robertson and the chief medical officer. Do you check do you sense anything there? Yeah, I do. Um definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Andy Robertson has a demon on him. Yep, yeah, Andy Robertson. Um, it's actually like it looks. This is this is different. It actually looks like it's piggybacking on his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, this demon, I can see it piggybacking on his shoulders. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's just clear them. So what we do now. Is this just clear them all off? Okay, so by the higher command of the golden liquid realms, the chemical power, and the power of the Christ consciousness, we clear all spirits, demons, and anything. And we cover these um, two politicians, these two leaders, with a energy field, white, um, silver, white reflector orb, and the blood of Christ. And scramble any negative interference and frequencies and dispossess them completely. And we surround them and any of the other key leaders of our state that we've mentioned previously and others with a white shield, clearing out all false spirit guides or false energies or false entities. and transforming them to upgrade their, their spirit guides to those aligned with the Council of Nine, with the Order of Enoch and the Order of Christ. Okay, that happened quite quickly. 
that I've been again. We've been doing a lot of it on these guys. Yeah. Okay, anything else you feel? So, well, sense just any residue. Yep. So you, you any can do energetic that. residue. Okay. So normally, like I said, normally this could take a long time to go through this when you're doing it the first time. Most of this, there won't be much going on. So let's just move through this volatility quickly, William. Do you sense much impact of the Schumann Resonance 5G and EMS? What are you getting? I'm getting about, is it more than 10%? Yes, more than 20? No, 15? I'm getting around 15% impact. I get around 13%. Okay. So let's just see if we can scramble and lower. And what you can do, everyone, is really just imagine styrofoam being put around <coughs> an electricity meter and around all of the um, network towers and your phone towers. Imagine just going there and we're putting like styrofoam over all the 5G towers. There's something I learned with Raymond. Over any um, meter boxes, cell towers, internet stations, power grids. And I, all I know is that when we do this, it's quite incredible how well it works. You can actually, if you really tune in, you will actually feel a shift. Something that the Kriya Yogis teach is that literally everything is energy and you can transform everything because you're living ultimately in a dream or cosmic mind illusion of God. Well, this is clearing up pretty quick, actually. Yeah, nah, well, that's like I said, we've been working on it enough, so I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that it's sticking. So Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's good. Our aim is to make perfect demon-free city. Okay. Now, here it gets more fun. Let's clear all negative entities, negative energetic patterns, thought forms, and emotions within the people's bodies of the state of, 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 of the city of Perth. All interferences. Okay, that's quite quick. Gosh, it's happening quickly today. Yeah. And let's just transform all the frequencies, all the energies into prosperity, love, and good health. Keep in mind, this is something you've got to be consistent with, like a dharmic duty, an ongoing thing. What Raymond was sharing in his webinar four months ago with us, he said, in the last eight months, he's noticed an incredible shift in the consciousness of the planet to the extent that we can now do things that we couldn't do a year ago. Like a year ago from now, his rule was if the city was more than 50,000 people, he wouldn't bother. But he said he's been noticing that larger cities you can do now. So Perth is 2 million people. And we have been, no and he and I have been, when I've done some work well on Perth with him, he's been saying the same thing to me. We can actually work on Perth. So, okay, let's call all fragmented souls. Now, what do fragmented souls mean is when people go into trauma, into fear, into complete shock from the COVID thing or reading the lockdowns or reading some silly post about how the military is going to come in and starve everyone. What can often happen is that the soul can fragment out and get stuck in another dimension. So it actually, your soul actually goes out of you and you're there, but you're not there. Some of you may even be in that state now. So just out of curiosity, William, let's do two tests. One is the percentage of fragmented souls on this webinar right now listening. And then let's check what the percentage of is in the city of Perth. So first on this webinar, is it over 5%? Yes. Is it over 10%? Is it um, around 10%? Yes. Is it 11 or more? No, I'm getting 10% on this webinar. So that means there's about four or five people who've got pregnant <laughs> souls here. Is that what you're getting? I get around 11, actually. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So there's four to five people, however many listening to the live stream, but are on this webinar um, who right now are um, got fragmented souls. So those of you, you will know if it's you because you will feel very disconnected from your body and be quite scared. And at some stage over the last day or recent days, you would have almost felt such fear, but something in you were disconnected and you would have felt trauma hit you. If that, if that is you, you can just always put a why. Let's just check for the whole state of the city of Perth. Is it over 5%? No, okay. Is it between three and five? Yep, four, five. 
Around four to five, I'm getting. Yeah, I get around four percent. Yep. Okay. So let's just um, scramble um, any interferences with people's souls and frequencies. And let's just call all fragmented souls and ground them back into their physical bodies. And if you feel a, a definite shift inside of you, then you'll know that you're one of those ones on this webinar. But yeah, we've been finding we've really got to work on our state or our city where we are. Okay, that was pretty quick. Okay, now here's a fun one. So this is the one where satanic, this is satanic sacrifices. Raymond said that things like when you start doing severe pedophilia, killing kids and spilling them out in the graveyard, which unfortunately goes on way too often, satanic sacrifices um, in graveyards, government offices, private homes, human trafficking, that can absolutely smash the energy of the city. My feeling is there wouldn't have been much going on because the energy is too high. Mm -hmm. Normally you'd, want, you'd be down to about 5, 10, 12,000 12, as an energy. So I'd be surprised we got much of that. But let's just do a clearing, see if there's anything. We'll just clear it. So we'll clear any curses, hexes, spells, demonic influence in the scarnets over people, bars, churches, graveyards, government offices, private homes, human trafficking, and sacrificial, occultic, ritual, satanic sites. And then there's something else I will do as well. That was pretty quick. So there's not much, but probably a little bit going on. So just one other thing I'm going to do, and I'll tell you what I'm doing after I've done it. So what I've done is in my imagination, I've gone there energetically to those doing it. I've cut their throat in pieces and strangled them and killed the motherfuckers. And so that's energetically just wiping out their energy for what they're doing. Um, as Raymond said, evil people deserve to die and deserve, in my opinion, deserve to die horrible deaths. Okay, clear out serial killer, rape and saw violent crime mentality. If there's any of that in Perth right now, okay, not all that much. So let's just keep moving through it. Okay, let's clear the negative impact of social and news media as well as other cities. While I'm doing it, William, just tune in and see what the social, what the impact of uh, mass consciousness was upon people in Perth, just what it was, say, two minutes ago. Just tell me what you get. I get it was around 3%. Yeah, that's what I got too. Not much. Okay, good. So now the last thing we do is we check the water sources. Now we can normally go and break these out very specifically one by one, but what we're going to do is just do on everything. So there's the main water sources in Perth are the Serpentine Dam, the Salination Plants, and the Mundaring Dam. So let's just see if any of these dams or water supplies under 20,000. I'm getting a no. Okay. So are you getting a no as well, William? Yeah, I'm getting a no as well. I'm getting the water's actually pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just keep it simple. Let's just clear the spirit of greed from any of our water supplies or water pipes that is in there. This was something Raymond said is very important because when you've had commercialized water, the commercial greed spirit tends to take over it. And that's a little bit there. But now what we do is we invite back the spirit of water. And yes, water has a spirit. So when water is pure and fresh, it's got a spirit in there. And that's why when you go to the ocean, to the beach, and it's not polluted, you can feel the purity and you can often feel refreshed and be invigorated because the spirit of water starts to invigorate you. As soon as you basically um, pollute it or do shit like that, the spirit of water leaves. So we have to ask the spirit of water to return and ask forgiveness where necessary. Mm. And we also, when the spirit guardian of Montana Spring, which is one of the purest waters in America, to raise the frequency of the water in Perth to the same level and purify all of our water. Okay, so, and finally, we put a thought form into the water to energize all water it comes in contact with to equal or exceed the energy of the original water present. Like I said, we're going through a full clearing there is a way to do this a lot quicker. So once you've done it a few times, you can do a 10 minute or five minute version, which we also do. But just today, I end up deciding to go a bit longer. 
So let's really measure the energy of the city of Perth, William. I'm hoping it's quite a bit higher now. So it's over 25,000. Yep. I'm getting around 34, 35,000. I get around 36,000. Yep. Okay. So, okay. So who here actually feels, um, can actually feel a shift of any kind? I'm just curious if any actually feel it. Sarah says, you guys, are, you can feel it shifting. Wonderful. Just out of curiosity, just type in the chat. Anyone else feel any shift at all? If you didn't, that's fine. Like I said, just doing our best and I keep in mind that they've proven anyway in science, if the intention of, if the consciousness of the city was raised by everyone tapping in and starting to do this in bigger and bigger numbers, I'm telling you, we'd shift, the we'd shift this city very quickly. Lee, the rock has gone out of my stomach. I feel a lot better. I'm an empath. I feel energies clearly. I was feeling the heaviness of <clears> this. <throat> I'm feeling a lot better now myself. Yes. So... So he was asked, and this is just the one thing I'm not, I'm not going to do this to everyone because like I said, I want to show you, but I am going to help you out, Eva, just as one thing. So Gladys um, Chant and Hazard in New South Wales. Let's just, let's just see if we got permission. So first of all, I'll just ask, William, we better both ask if we got permission to work on these three for Sydney to help Eva out in her city. Do we have permission to help out? I'm getting a yes that we got permission. So that's okay. So we're just going to work on those three. So let's just go and go back now. Just see what we can do for New South Wales. So before we do this, let's just see what the energy of Sydney is 300, if I remember rightly. So let's just check what is the percentage of possession of the politicians and leaders in New South Wales? Is it over 10%? Yes, over 30, over 40. No, over 50, no, 40%. I'm getting 40% possessed, which is bloody high. What are you getting, William? 45. Yeah, it's high. That's really high. Um, okay. Um, let's just see, out of the three main people, Brad Hazard, Kerry Chant. Brad Hazard is the Minister for Health. He's Roger Cook's equivalent, William. Um, Kerry Chant's the equivalent of Andy Robertson. And um, Gladys, of course, is the Premier. So let's just have a look at them and see what you get. They're possessed. Well, I'm actually getting, tell me you're getting, I'm getting that Gladys actually isn't possessed, but I'm getting that both Kerry Chant and Brad Hazard are possessed. Yeah. I'm getting well, Gladys. She's not. She's not possessed, but she's being influenced by yeah. her, her team around. She's actually okay, Gladys. So she, she's actually a bit like Mark McGowan. She's actually okay. Um, yeah, she's fine, but she doesn't but have yeah. the right support around her. Yeah. So we've got to give her some support. We've got to help Gladys out a bit here. Okay, so what we'll do is let's just... Um, okay. Let's just do a general dispossession of basically those two, of um, Kerry Chat and brad hazard mm. fuck my pub is going absolutely apeshit can you see the names of any of the spirits on this too williams i know you normally see them pretty clearly i'm seeing a pretty bad one myself it's a dark lord so it's more than a demon oh, i'm seeing lucifer yeah exactly that who that is dark lord yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why I definitely was going to ask permission before I got involved in that one. Um, yeah, gosh. Yeah, definitely lose the floor. Okay, so let's stop now. Um, okay, so now let's just activate it and upgrade the spirit guides to cut the, the spirits aligned with the higher councils.
to compel these guys to act in accordance with higher laws as best as we're allowed to and have permission in accordance with the edicts and the orders of the Council of Nine for the dealing of the situation in planet Earth and in Australia, as I've been instructed. Okay. Let's just do an overall dispossession of all the politicians now. And just help Eva out. Hmm. I'd suggest, Eva, you find someone in New South Wales, like a buddy who you can do this with. So if there's anyone on here is from New South Wales or Sydney, maybe let Eva know in the text chat. That's my sense. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay, a couple of people are saying they're from Sydney. Yeah. So what I'm happy to do anyway, guys, is I'm going to stop for tonight because I'm going to, um, we've done our thing. But what I am going to say is that if you guys want to uh, organise a Zoom and let me know, I'm happy to come on and kind of help you through this in the next couple of days. So if you want to do some work on your city and get together and like message each other on Facebook, feel free to, you know, add me, message me privately or whatever else. And I'm happy to, you know, jump on Zoom and do a bit of a session with, you know, guiding, say, you know, one of you guys who you appoint to lead it, maybe Eva, and I'll just guide you guys through it so you guys can start working. But yeah, look, my feeling is that you do that. Let's just see what the energy of Sydney is now, William. Like, it was like 300 before, or 200. Let's see what it is now. Is it over 500? Yes. Okay, is it over 1,000? Yes. Is it over 5,000? No. Over 3,000? No. Over 2,000? Yep, 2,500. Okay, so I'm getting Sydney's about 2,500 now. I get it's around, I get near to, I get near 3,000. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty disgusting, but it's better than 200. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that you guys get, those of you who are in Sydney together, get together. If there's any of you in Adelaide, or if any of you are in Melbourne, you should let each other know in the chat. And like I said, I'm more than happy to get on and do one for each of you on city by city, you know, do one thing with you and help you guys out. You know, if you take the initiative to put one together and say, look, we really want to do one, I'm happy to, you know, organize a Zoom and do it with you guys or you guys can do a, do a Zoom or whatever. So this way you can just start to do some work. I mean, we, we've done this in previous lockdowns and when we put our mind to it, we see, lot, we see restrictions end very fast. Like in WA, those of you who've lived here, I've seen generally our restrictions end fast. And again, it could be coincidence, but pretty much we've noticed as soon as we put our mind and get busy on this, restrictions seem to end pretty quickly. And uh, we've noticed that the virus doesn't spread in the community. And that's because we have just basically worked our asses off as best as we can. So like I said, I'd like to think it's made a difference. Um, if it breaks out in the community in WA in the next little while, well, we'll just know we've got new things to learn. That's how we see it. So we're not attached to the outcome, but we do our best that we can. Okay, I hope, I hope that helped everyone. I um, hope you guys have learned something. Who here could feel the shift and feels a little bit more hope now, or at least feels at least there's something else that you can try or rather than just sit there and, you know, go and send memes to each other about the military stealing your food off you. Okay, great. Well, thanks, William, for coming on and helping me. And thanks, everyone, for being here. Yep. Okay. See you, everyone.